Hey guys, how are you doing? We haven't seen in a while, but sure, look, it is what it is. We've been busy and a lot of the places that I go to in the woods now, it, and all of a sudden the woods have become a very highly populated place, which is great if you take your rubbish home with you. Now, today we're going to discuss feather sticks and uh, over the last few years Instagram has been kind of swamped with feather sticks and getting these lovely little curlies feather sticks but people may not necessarily understand what a feather stick should be doing and why would we even use a feather stick well the purpose of a feather stick is that you find yourself in a situation where you have to batten two wood that isn't ready to take a flame so you don't have a lot of birch twigs around with you or something like that and we now need to generate splints small size timber in graduated this stuff here won't readily accept a flame from a lighter or whatever so we have to create tinder now when we're creating tinder when we make a feather stick we also want to create the next stage of kindling so our feather stick and people start their feather sticks with these lovely tiny little curls here and graduate to thicker stuff but this is not ready to take a, a, a ferrocerium rod strike or, or whatever intermediary sort of flash tinder you're using so we remember we need our curls at this end not that end so my back is facing into the wind which is very very important when we're lighting a fire like this or any fire indeed we've cleared an area here in the woods you can see that with damp very wet ground and we've made an insulated bed for our feather sticks now that's very very important feather sticks are akin to i always say fire fire is very similar to uh, human life it always needs insulation and sometimes it needs CPR okay oxygen so we're putting the feathers in a V shape here on top of one another okay and what I'm gonna do now I have a bit of a um, as anybody that watches me know how much I really like using um, my jute twine broke down into a flash tinder it's very very useful and of course where would I be today without my wazoo so this tiny little fire rod it can and hopefully today will get me out of trouble so in this video there should be a photo landing somewhere along the line of this video of what a feather stick should lo look like and it's very important to remember a feather stick should start at the same spot and end at the same spot pretty much all the time continually making the timber stick that you splint that you're cutting down thicker so just going to give this a few strikes here very important when I was lighting that and you can see with the timber here now my legs were closed and I was over this so there was no wind blowing through my legs okay and we have this v-shape and now we're ready to put this kind of tinder that wouldn't have initially ignited with a, with a lighter or a fire rod so the whole idea about fire rods is that you're making sustainable fire standalone sustainable fire you're not using feather sticks to light stuff that you could ordinarily use with a lighter or, or, or anything like that. that that would be pointless and it's very very important for people to understand this concept when we're when we're lighting fire so what we have now is we have a good fire going there and, and it is on the brink of becoming sustainable you can hear this, the timber cracking and all that and that's what these feather sticks are doing so feather sticks is a very very uh, valuable skill to have and to understand how you should be making feather sticks another very very important skill to have is the ability to make them and to have a knife that will allow you that is strong enough to batten down to the point that we, we can get to a dry inner core and of course my ever reliable probably my best friend in the woods 
by LPY Genesis uh, that has prepared everything that we have here today. Uh, as you can see there now, everything is... That we have a fire now that effectively cannot go out. Remember, it's very, very important to have that insulating bed underneath because we, we just don't, this ground is so wet here, we don't want that falling onto that, trying to light a fire up through that. So guys, if you have any questions, give us a shout. Uh, it's great to be back on YouTube and hopefully we'll be more frequent in the future. We, we have lots of videos to do and uh, uh, for some reason I don't seem to have the time that I did have before, but we're hoping to remedy that as well. Guys, I hope this was helpful and as I said, I am dropping a photo, I'm no techno geek, so, but I am dropping a photo in this so you can see what a feather stick should look like. And once again, soft wood is what we want to be using for feather sticks. So something of, of the pine type family uh, and we want to cut between the knots, batten it out and feather it out. So what I find is I use sticks, you can see the length of them there in, in the photograph. They're about from my bicep to, to knuckle in length and we're getting as many curls as we can. And how many curls do you put on a feather stick? Well, I, I can't actually tell you that, but what I can tell you is you, you continue putting curls on that feather stick until the feather has become the, the dimension that you would use for the next stage of tinder okay and that's the whole idea that it's a, it's a kind of a self-encapsulated form of lighting fire from from a wazoo uh what the bushcraft wazoo uh fire rod all the way through to what we have here is a, is a proper fire okay guys good to see us and we'll be back to you soon